We'll start first with uh, this great project, the Hotel Arumove, uh, and our first presenter will be uh, Mashi Wobos. Uh, and so I'll hand it off to you, and we'll get started. Um, you hear me? Okay. Uh, my name is Maciej Lobov, I'm an architect uh, and a partner in MWM Architects Company. And I want to, to present you uh, today one of our fresh projects, Hotel uh, Awamów uh, in Poland, located in Poland. Uh, we are from Poland. Our home is here, this, this yellow dot, you see. Um, we uh, we live in a borderlands uh, near to Ukrainian uh, U Ukrainian border, and the project that we present you is today is in in the same region. Our company was established in the year 2000 by me and my two friends Vacek Matvog and Marcin Smoczyński. Um, at present, we employ 45 people, architects and structural engineers, and we're still growing up. Um, interesting is, as you can see, 90% uh, of our key staff are women, uh, except founding fathers, but nobody's perfect, no? <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's a bit of surprising, uh, but it's fantastic. Our, our pretty female side of, of this company are very creative and and uh, professional. They are professionalists. Mm. What we do? Mm. And before I move on, every time I I, I take a part in a conference, mm, most of presentations have annotation. Do not record. Of course, you can record. It's free. For, uh, for everyone. Uh, so generally we do the same what all architects in the world. Uh, we, de we design buildings, shopping malls, uh, office, uh, parks, housing, real estate, uh, hotels. Usually they are the large buildings. We are the small company, but our projects are very large, often strange. Uh, for example, uh, this project here is not USS Enterprise in Star Trek. It's a circular uh, pedestrian, pedestrian bridge we design in Rzeszów, in our city. Um, project uh, I want to show you today is a one of the best, uh, best hotels in Poland. Uh, we have worked under this, this project for five years. Uh, whole complex has area about 50 thousand of square meters and the uh, area of site is about 100 hectares. And, uh, in 2008 we won architectural uh, competition and we were uh, responsible for each stage of this project, for concept design, for a building permission design, for changing for local development plan, tender design, executing drawing, so on, so on, and for supervision on site. Um, hotel is located on the top of the mountain uh, in the neighborhood of Ukrainian border. You see. Uh, in Bieszcza, the mountains, in the center of the strict nature reserve area, Nature 2000. And Bieszczady Mountains is a still wild and almost unfrequented place in the Poland and in the in the Euro Europe. And the protection of the environment during construction and uh, everyday functioning of this this complex uh, was a greatest challenge. In the days of communism, uh, Arwamów didn't exist on maps because it was a secret conference and hunting and leisure center for leaders of uh, uh, all communist parties from the Eastern Europe. Um, Arwamov was visited by Brezhnev, by Ceausescu, uh, Kadar, Honecker, and 
another bandits and murderers. Uh, in, in, 19, in 1981, during the days of martial law in Poland, Lech Wałęsa, our first uh, independent president, uh, was imprisoned in, uh, in Aramov. Okay, um, how complex is not only a new hotel, the, the, the new hotel is here, uh, but some other supported buildings connected, uh, connected by the underground tunnel and the, and the footbridge. Um, they are, uh, they are uh, horse riding school, uh, horse stables, the full size sport hall, uh, the old soldier barracks, the old, uh, the old hotel with, uh, when uh, Valencia was prisoned. And uh, very interesting, we, we designed we design the uh, heat, ecological heat and power uh, plant supplies uh, a whole complex uh, with uh, mm, six point megawatts of heat. 1.8 megawatts of energy and 2.5 megawatts of, 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 of cooling water, of cold. Yeah. Uh, the system is fueled by uh, west of wood. Mm. On side we have a uh, golf field, uh, full-size football, soccer for Americans. Uh, soccer field, ski slopes, and the next year um, is planned construction of, of luge course, toboggan course, you, you understand. Um, the most advantage uh, of this, this complex, of this resort, is, is its location. Deep in a forest, uh, far away from civilization, and this advantage is the same because the access uh, for cars is not easy. Fortunately, seven kilometers away from, from here, we have an airfield for planes, but helicopters can land directly, directly to, by, the, by the hotel. Okay, how we work this project? Um, we used computers, of course. Here you see, uh, draft, one of first draft model made in, in microstation, but uh, we are still old school architects and we still make many, many uh, manual drawings and manual models. Above you can see uh, first sketches of interior design prepared for this project. And on this picture um, is presented three-dimensional model of the power, power and uh, heat, heat plant. It's, I know it's not a great architecture, it's only envelope for, for technical equipment, but every part of this, of, of this building, uh, all systems, all, all equipments, were designed in three-dimensional model in microstation. Uh, here you can see it's a real perspective section across the master model we made in microstation. Uh, it's full model, including everything. Structure, facades, uh, technical equipment, uh, HVAC system, and so on, so on, so on. Yes, we, we, this is a part this part was des designed, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, this part of the roof uh, above the atrium was, was uh, designed in genera generative components. Um, and this is a, on this slide you have a part of technical equipment. This complex of uh, fresh water tanks. And here you are. Photo from the from the from the site from construction site. Uh, what software you use? Uh, we are using MicroStation from almost 20 years. In this project, we 
mostly use Bentley architecture. In the last phase of project, Bentley architecture was upgraded to, to Ecosim. We used uh, Bentley mechanical for ducts, for Bentley electrical, uh, Prostil for, um, you see, sub still substructure. Uh, we used Rhino for design. Um, the shape of uh, ceilings in the in the swimming pool, for example, and uh, we used uh, many many formats from different applications. For example, model of of the stainless steel swimming pool made in Pro Engineer. Um, on this picture, you have a model of ceilings from Rhino. Uh, implemented in master model in microstation. And here you can see uh, the part of, of model in, in Rhino and substructure design in Prostil. And remarks of my friend Vacek uh, makes by hand. Okay, uh, this is a visualization of the swimming pool. Uh, now a photo from the construction phase you see uh, stainless steel swimming pool, you see uh, substructure, uh, few elements of ceilings and the technical part design in, in prostil. And you can see how it works reality. And something about GC. Uh, Here's a part of uh, cross section uh, in, 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 a, in a main in a main patio. Uh, the shape of the glass panel roof uh, was designed in GC. It was very important because uh, the atrium uh, works sometimes as a concert hall or even even place. And the sound emission uh, must be equal in every point in auditorium. In, uh, you can see here is, here is a scan. Uh, you can see um, sound rays going to to the uh, roof, reflected from the glass panels, and distributed equally in uh, each point of auditorium. Now you can see visualization of uh, this atrium, and in the next slide it's a real, it's a real photo. Uh, you know, uh, us usually building visualizations looks better than real life. In this case, it's contrary. Uh, this building looks better than its visualization. We are, <laughs> we are very, very proud of it. Um, this is a part. This is a part of facade, external facade. Mm, three, pic three pictures. Three pictures on left uh, are screenshots from microstation. You can see the the, the parts of microstation standard toolbox uh, here and here, and it's, you see the cross cursors. Um, here is a visualization made in microstation. And uh, here is a photo from the construction. And it's final look of this, of this facade. Every detail uh, was made precisely as it was projected by us. It's, it's very, very fantastic. Uh, so um, our company was uh, responsible for most of interior uh, design. We design an interior of atrium, apartments, uh, swimming pool. But the most difficult challenge for us was a, was a spa and spa VIP uh, center. Requirements, you know, re requirements of clients were very, very high. And he expected the highest, highest quality. Here are, here are visualization. Uh, made in Luxology, in V-Ray, in SketchUp, and in 3D Max. 
and this is a real object. This is a real object. And such great effect would be impossible without real beam, including all information about building, about interior design, about equipment. Uh, we, uh, we created uh, the big master model in microstation, including everything, and it was about 300 of gigabytes of data, and it still works. Okay. Um, we succeeded to, to make a total, absolutely total project, because our team uh, design almost everything in this building. Each detail, some furniture, lamps, for example, even even ventilation exhaust nozzles. Okay, pattern of carpets you can you can see here, and uh, bedding in apartments. Welcome to Narnia. We have a real winter in Poland, especially in mountains. Uh, in the foreground, you see uh, one of ski slopes, a uh, swimming pool, the facade of, of, of swimming pool is here, this, this, bright, this bright light. Um, swimming pool and the spa center uh, are located in this part of building uh, where the the, the the open view is for, where we have the open view for ski slopes. Swimming pools, um, a, a power plant uh, produces our plus of, of heat, and we had an idea to create warm, full season external swimming pool. You can you can swim here. You can swim here in a hot water outside in the winter and play with snow. Okay, it's another view from the other side of the hill. It's a really, it's a really big building, containing over 250 double rooms and uh, a few apartments, uh, conference center, kindergartens, restaurants, cafe, and so on, so on. At the level minus one is a one, one big underground uh, parking. And the hotel achieved great commercial and uh, financial success. Uh, when we started to design, everyone, everyone asked us and client, uh, who will visit this place? It's a wilderness, deep in a forest. Who will visit? But now, demand is higher three times than number of rooms. You see uh, terrace on the roof of the swimming pool with garden, fountains, and, uh, and cafe. Um, you have to know in Poland, uh, hotel business, business usually don't give the profit to the owner for um, two next years after opening, okay? just like architecture. Um, <laughs> in, this case, in this case, hotel brought a profit from the beginning. In the first month, client have profit. Now I show this uh, external hot swimming pool that I have spoken before. So uh, we design all building surroundings, lamps, illumination of facades, benches, fountains, everything. We created a whole precise three-dimensional model of the terrain and microstation. We use inroads uh, to, um, to design roads, system, pavements, etc. We uh, design all underground system. We, model, we have a model of all underground system and installation in this project. This year, hotel uh, was awarded as the Poland leading hotel by the World Travel Award. It's an Oscar of the travel industry and most uh, most inspiring spa center 2013. And uh, 
Parwamuf complex is not only the hotel, um, but also several supporting buildings like um, sport hall uh, with the playground for full size playground for handball, uh, f with two tennis courts and climbing walls and a uh, few courts for squash to uh, shooting ranges, um, few gyms, uh, etc. On the right is the interior of the horse riding school and the one of kindergarten. Almost finished. Thank you very much. And uh, sorry for my English. It it was my it was my first public presentation in English.